sex, drugs, rock and roll. Throw in some motorcycles, tattoos, a bazillion kids. Does that sound interesting to you? If so, hit subscribe and the notification bell and let's get to it. Clickbait? No, that wasn't clickbait. Actually, it's my story. It's my journey. I'm Terry, as many of you know. If you followed my blog at all, you know a lot about my story. I have been really struggling with my YouTube channel and which way to take it since I stopped a series, pulled footage, and my life sort of took a shift. A good shift, but a shift nonetheless. Nonetheless. So I've really been struggling here with my YouTube channel. I started my channel way back when they were saying YouTube is going to be TV of the next generation. And I was like, yeah, whatever, that's lame. Guess what, guys? Here we are. I have been watching a lot of videos, a lot of tutorials, a lot of people on content, making content, editing, and putting things together. Things were making sense until I came across a YouTube channel called, excuse me, Story Greenlight. The creator's name is Jeff. I am not even going to attempt to pronounce your last name because I know I will so totally butcher it. But I had been really going back and forth and struggling. I have so many passions motorcycles, makeup, although that one gets me into a lot of trouble because there's a lot of dollars going out the door. Really what my passion is, is the reason I started my blog way back in 2008. My blog at that, well it's still called, the URL is thebipolardiva.com. There is some still relevant content on there. A lot of it I pulled because I was in the frame of mind at that time. I shouldn't have been writing publicly. Writing is very cathartic for me. I have a very creative side, which I love. But I've been really struggling with YouTube because I didn't know which way to go. Everyone's like, find your niche, find your niche, find your niche. My gosh, my niche is like the world. I have a story. And it really goes back to when I started my blog. I was misdiagnosed in 2008 with bipolar 2 disorder. And in 2008, I don't know if you remember or not, but that's when the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare and everything came into action. And I was juggled from doctor to doctor to doctor to doctor that just stuck with that diagnosis until I landed with the doctor I have now that I've been seeing for probably, I'm guessing about eight years now. After about the first year in therapy with him, he said, Terry, you don't have bipolar two. You are struggling with and suffering from severe PTSD. I was like, no way. Yes way. Didn't want to believe it at the time. Let me give you a long story short. I want your thoughts. I want your comments. I still want to do my motorcycle stuff. I want to do travel vlogging because I freaking love it. And the chemistry between my husband and me, amazing in my mind. No, really, it's cool. Just on a side note, Jeff and I, my husband, were married in 1988 separated the end of 2013, divorced in 2015, Re we, we remarried July 7th, 2017. I'll link those above, those videos above, give you a little bit better understanding where, I've, where I'm coming from. So I'm struggling with this, right? What do I do? Do I go for my passion? I have a lot of passions. I have a story though. I have a story that because of my blog, I know how impactful it can be. 
I get messages all the time, daily, as a matter of fact. Thank you. I didn't realize anyone else was going through that. When I started my blog, I started it with one intention. There are some out there, you know who you are, will say, oh, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. She wanted this about her. No, I didn't. My thought then was, if I can make it through this trial, this struggle, because every blog I looked at about bipolar or mental illness or anything, which I was not suffering from, it's PTSD, thank you very much. People were whining and complaining. I didn't want to read that. I wanted to be able to inspire someone, to be a light, to say, you know what, you said something and I don't feel alone because I felt alone. I had felt alone for years and years and years. I have trilogies upon trilogies with a 30 year marriage, raising eight kids, a lot of special needs, stepping into a family where my husband's children were closer in age to me than I am to my husband. So I have a lot of stuff out there that I know a lot of people are struggling with. If I can share my story and inspire one person not to cut their arms, hence the tattoos. If I can inspire one person not try to take their lives, if I can inspire one person to say, you made it through what? You remarried your ex and all of this stuff went on, it'll be worth it. Boring? Oh no, I have not led a boring life. I used, I used, you know, I used to tell my husband all the time, what would I give for a boring life? What is a boring life? What is a normal life? We lost friends because our lives were so chaotic. I had family members look at me and say, what is with you? Drama follows you everywhere. Guess what? Since the divorce and the remarriage, we don't have drama. Our lives are pretty much drama free except paying bills. My husband's a general contractor. You know, how are you going to present this bid to this client? It's night and day. And I realized something. I'm going to put a link to my blog here. The latest posts that I put up, I have not written consistently in a very long time, but I put up a post and it is the last post on my blog and I'll put the link to it. Actually, I'll put the link in the description bar below. It was an OMG moment in my life. And I've had a lot of those since my divorce. And unpacking boxes that I had hidden in closets I didn't want to look at. Then there were triggers that happened and I was placed in a position where I had to unpack those boxes. I had to look at the things that had happened to me and from me. I had to examine those and I had to reevaluate the way I saw life, the way I wanted my life to be, and how I wanted to define my happiness. I'm hoping that's making sense to you because in my mind, squirrel brain, it's making sense to me. I want to do a change on this channel. I want to refocus a bit, sort of rebrand, because for so long I was Terry Anderson, the biker diva, which was the name of the TV series that we ended up pulling because I had a thief of a co-producer. That's a story in its own. Oh my gosh. There are a lot of OMG moments in my life. But I really think you guys might be able to relate. Oh, I just looked down at my camera because I'm using it to focus. I have on no makeup. You know why? I don't want to take it off tonight. I just got finished with Jeff's on um, Story Greenlight, his live stream. I have not been so inspired by anyone 
since him. When I came across him and I watched the first video that was suggested to me, it really got me to thinking of rebranding, re refocusing, getting my message out. I have a story, I have a powerful story, and if it can help anyone, I'd love to do it. I still want to do vlogging. I still want to do our motorcycle adventures and times with my husband and fun things like that. But this is a story I really think needs to get out there because there are so many misunderstandings. There are so many misconceptions. There's not, not really with me. I'm speaking generalities with the population. There are people out there suffering because others have made them feel less than. They have made themselves feel less than. They have put other people in front of them and not taken care of themselves. I have things to say. I don't want people going through what I went through. I want people learning from what I went through. If that makes sense to you guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you'd like to hear some of that. I, like I said, I still want to do some of my motorcycle stuff. Oh, by the way, which brings me to, I was going to do, you know, I, I still have a couple of reviews I want to do. Drugstore makeup, which I have never used in my life. And I ended up buying gift cards as a giveaway. Got to figure out how to give those away. So I will be doing that. But what do you think? Is it possible to rebrand? A lot of you guys know me from MySpace days, my blog. You followed me through my motorcycle stuff, my promotions, the series, different things like that. But I want you to get to know me. I want to get to know you. I want to encourage you that that life you're thinking of is possible. I want to encourage you that when you're feeling trapped and smothered, okay, this is the way I felt. And I wrote it in one of my blogs and I really don't know where it is. But the way I was feeling at the time is that the life my husband and I had built together was beautiful. We have a beautiful home, beautiful things, beautiful children. I was dying inside. I was smothering. I felt like the life I had built had encapsulated me and was, was taking my soul. And then there were those PTSD moments that I hadn't realized that were clawing at my back. They were clawing at my back. I went down, not only myself, I went down in a flaming show of a meltdown. I had no idea why. I do now. Pieces are still coming together. But it's a very interesting story. I want to tell it. There are so many pieces to it. I'm really not sure how to go about it because, you know, one of my videos is, oh my gosh, I married my ex-husband. And the other one was, why did we do it? But there's so many subchapters in between. How do I do? Do I go from birthday when I got married and like how do you and how do you do that in 15 minutes 10 minutes because this is not going to be a 10 minute video obviously but Jeff from story green light I really want to thank you and give you a shout out because of all of the tutorials and I'm not downplaying anyone but from all the tutorials of all of the videos I've watched on this You've been the one that has lit that fire. You've been the one that got the wheels turning. You're the one that made me feel I can do this. And you're right, fear holds us back. Fear held me back for a long time. We're not gonna do that anymore. As always, I'd like to ask you guys, please subscribe. Drop your thoughts in the comment box below. I'm really thinking this is gonna work. Come along for the journey. Let's have some fun. I tell you what, there's gonna be laughter. There are going to be tears of laughter. There are going to be tears of deep sorrow. 
There's going to be anger. There's going to be hurt. There's going to be emotion. This is real life, folks. You can't make this stuff up. Come along for the journey. Join me. Until the next time, peace out as always, and I'll see you then.